Alright folks, it's literally one hour since last video. Uh, <clears throat> brought the tractor and the planter home. Dad brought me back out here so I could get my gator and head in. Thought maybe while I'm here we'll do a little video. We're right here smack dab at the three corners as I call it. Um, so... There's a lot to complain about, about the lack of moisture. And there is, and boy, we need it. Bad, bad, bad. But this dry, hot heat Pearson index, I'm gonna call it, I don't have all the words, has done one hell of a flourishing number to the alfalfa. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, it's all of knee high. And I'm 6'2 uh, I'm on a good day. <clears throat> the wind's blowing, right? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so that's where that comes from, but we need that moisture by God, this could get a lot better. Now, it's not long before this gets cut, to be honest with you, if we had a fair forecast, a normal forecast in front of us, I'd think about cutting this in the next three, four days. It's ready. As far as tonnage not the entire field looks like this either folks just so you know most of you pay attention to the channel the back half is not the greatest <clears throat> jeez If I didn't give a damn what a drought would do to a freshly cut field, which I kind of do. <laughs> if I was that greedy and ignorant, I'd cut this down. Sell this some high, high, high end small square horse hay. You know, the horse borders of the... I think they call them athletic, athletic horses that actually need and have alfalfa. Same here. Lots of little spots in this field now. Most of these spots, folks, comes from settling water and then freezing. Uh, but a damn nice field. A lot of tonnage here, regardless. Pretty stinking nice. Yeah, that corner back there is always deficient, but uh, who knows? Uh, I got that fertilizer down at the right time as well. Uh, I'm going to take a small little pat on the back on that. I would have liked to have got it down earlier, but um, when I got it down... I think it was the most opportune time according to our very freaky springish weather pattern. There's some people in this world that say that uh, there's nothing better than looking back at a freshly planted field. This field is <laughs> it's a little it's a little hideous because of the, the work that had to go into it. Uh, you know you can see remnants of some sod but uh, it's it's a good feeling. This was by no means a heavy planting year. For God's sakes, I only had two properties, folks. Um, I don't care, though. It feels, feels good to be done. Now a person can concentrate on switching their concentrations to haymaking. Let's get all the tillage and planting equipment put away. Now it's time to get all the haymaking equipment out, which I have not done yet. I wouldn't say I'm behind, but it's time for maintenance. Open up all the nooks and crannies, everything, change a bunch of blades, you know, go through the baler, all the oil levels. Of course, I'm talking gearboxes here. Words to the wise, I'll play Mr. Know-it-all. You check your damn gearboxes in the spring or before you start going. I thank God that I do, because a couple times I found some, uh, oh, shits. There, I hope that helps somebody. 
open up your gear boxes. It takes two minutes. So. That's it, folks. Uh, I got chores starting in about one hour. A couple things to do before chores start. And uh, yeah, go from there. Whatever the hell my day brings me from here on out, I can tell you this. It's going to be a cold beer tonight. Maybe two, three. Could be four, five, six. I don't know about eight, nine, ten. Who knows? Talk to you sooner and later.